Now, anyone who knows me knows I'm a real tech head. I'm on top of all the latest cyber trends. You see this? Apple Watch? I use it to check my email, read the news, find out what my heart rate is after reading the news. <laughs> like, uh, like all gadget heads, I'm pumped for 2020's Consumer Electronics Show, or CES. Over the years, many high-tech innovations have been unveiled at CES, such as the Plasma TV, the Blu-ray player, back in the late 70s, the Atari, and at the very first CES, Fire. <laughs> it's a big seller, big seller. Mm -hmm. This year, one of the most talked about products at CES is a robotic pet cat called Mars Cat which can recognize human faces and knows 20 commands and phrases, including sit and come here. So, just like a cat, that is nothing like a cat. <laughs> now, who's behind this robotic feline? None other than startup Elephant Robotics. Okay, guys, okay, let's brainstorm. Let's brainstorm here. No, okay. Okay, guys, let's brainstorm. Our company's called Elephant Robotics. What kind of robo-animal should we build? Monkey, no. Puppies, that's stupid. Wait, it's so obvious. It's the elephant in the room. Cats. <laughs> now, it's a long walk to that joke. It was a really <laughs> long walk. But we got there and there was water in the well. Now, if the idea of a pack of robotic cats keeps you up at night, don't you worry. CES has you covered because there's a new high tech sleep aid called the Ergonite Headband which costs $500 and uses neurofeedback therapy to measure your EEG and teach you how to control the brain waves that impact sleep. Sadly, still no advancements on how to control the brain waves that impact your decision to blow $500 on a plastic <laughs> headband. And don't you worry, one size fits all, folks, because according to the company, small electrodes automatically adjust to the size of your head and no glue is needed. <laughs> Okay, that's disturbing. <laughs> it never occurred to me that glue might be needed. I wouldn't be comforted if an Olive Garden waiter started his spiel with, our special tonight is penne with clam sauce, and you'll be excited to hear, no antidote required. <laughs> okay. <laughs> S some glue is needed. <laughs> and it's not just startups getting in on the high-tech devices. Toilet paper company Charmin is unveiling a new product they call a Poop Time Robot Pal. <laughs> no offense, Charmin. I'm sure the robot's great and all, but Poop Time is the one time I don't want a pal. <laughs> Treasure my loneliness. No pals. So, Doof. What does this pal do? Well, apparently, its sole job is to bring you a new toilet paper roll <laughs> when you need it most. This is huge! <laughs> what an advancement. It replaces the previous toilet paper roll replacement technology of... <laughs> Here it is! <laughs> Can you grab it? Can you? I'm just gonna throw it. Here, I'm gonna throw it. <laughs> Speaking of things that roll, <laughs> Segway is also getting into the game, debuting a new product called the S-Pod, which is billed as a self-balancing stroller for adults. <laughs> Finally, I want it. Wheel me around, robot mommy. <laughs> the S-Pod is perfect for anyone who watched WALL-E and thought, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, that is the amount of dignity I deserve. <laughs> this non-baby baby stroller is not messing around because it can hit speeds of 25 miles per hour. Which leads to the obvious question, can the Charmin poop top... <laughs> can the poop robot keep up with it? <laughs> Hurry up, Charmin, I'm pooping in my S-Pod. <laughs> ah. The future is amazing. Ah. We'll be right back with Jane Fonda.